every substance has the property to absorb part of light passing through the solution. The phenomenon is called light absorption. Every chemical compound absorbs light at a strictly fixed wavelength. In this way, the respective substance can be identified. A decimal logarithm of the ratio of the two intensities is called extinction, absorbance, or optical density of the solution. The extinction is directly proportional to the concentration of the substance in the sample. This linear dependence is called Beer-Lambert law and it is used to determine substance concentrations. The device for determining protein concentration is called spectrophotometer. The sample is in a cuvette, a beam of light at a fixed wavelength for the specific substance passes through the cuvette. The spectral photometer directly measures the absorbance at a given concentration. Light at a different wavelength is used to determine protein concentration. Proteins containing aromatic amino acids absorb light at a wavelength of 280 nanometers and their concentration can be measured directly in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum. The concentration of colored proteins as hemoglobin, myoglobin, plastocyanin, cytochromes, flavoproteins, etc. is determined at different wavelengths in the visible part of the spectrum. Concentration of colorless proteins can be measured spectrophotometrically after carrying out a colored reaction as the biuret assay. Sodium hydroxide is added to a protein solution. Then, a drop of copper sulfate is added to this alkaline solution. In the presence of peptide bonds, a violet color is seen, which proves that the solution contains proteins. The Bayerit reaction is a qualitative reaction proving the presence of proteins. The intensity of the violet color depends on the protein concentration in the sample. This solution can be studied photometrically at a wavelength of 540 nanometers and the exact protein concentration in the sample can be measured. A calibration curve is used for the purpose. A series of standard solutions with known increasing concentrations are prepared. Biorit reagent containing sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate is added to each solution, producing a violet-colored complex. The first test tube is used as a control. There is no protein in the solution, and the Bayerit reaction does not occur. Therefore, the blue color of the Bayerit region does not change to violet. A graph of concentration against absorbance is plotted. The extinction of each of the standard solutions in the series is measured, and the result is plotted. Parallel measurements are made for each point and average for an accurate building of the calibration curve. It should be linear as long as the Beer-Lambert law applies. The series of standard solutions should include about 10 solutions. Thus, 10 points are obtained. The points are interpolated and the standard curve is built. Absorbance of unknown is then measured and its concentration interpolated from the linear region of the plot. The range of the Bayerit assay is between 1 and 10 mg per milliliter of protein. It is necessary to dilute the solutions with higher concentration. The film shows the determination of protein concentration in a sample of isolated rat liver mitochondria. This is necessary in order to compare the results of different experiments. The data obtained from various investigations is always normalized to 1 mg of mitochondrial protein. Equal amounts of mitochondrial suspensions are put in two test tubes. The third test tube is used as a control and the same amount of distilled water is put in it. 
Solution of deoxycholic acid containing potassium hydroxide is added into each test tube. The mixture is left to stay in the test tubes for 15 minutes. The deoxycholic acid lyses the mitochondrial membrane and the proteins pass in the solution, which becomes clear. This allows using a single beam spectral photometer in the visible part of the spectrum. Lysing with detergent is not necessary if using a double beam spectral photometer where the control test tube contains the same amount of mitochondrial suspension. After that, the biuret reagent containing sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate is added to each test tube. It is shaken and incubated for 30 minutes at room temperature or for a minute at 100 degrees centigrade. The change of color from light blue to violet shows that the biuret reaction has occurred. The color of the biuret reagent can be seen in the controlled test tube. The spectral photometer is calibrated to measure absorbance at 540 nanometers. First, the device is calibrated with the control sample. Then, the solution studied is poured into a cuvette, which is placed in the spectral photometer. The lid is closed and the absorbance is displayed. The average of the two measurements of the solution is plotted. From the graph at absorbance of 0.785, it can be seen that the protein concentration is 5.7 milligrams per milliliter. After considering the dilution, which is 1 to 10 in this case, the protein concentration in the mitochondrial suspension is determined to be 57 milligrams per milliliter.